What's up, Gemini? It's your girl Kelly coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot Beat in Boston. So this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Ascending, same thing. Uh, Mercury, Mars, Venus, anywhere in your placement that this might fit. If it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. So don't take the puzzle piece and try to squeeze it into the puzzle where it doesn't belong. Uh, the other thing is we are redoing the whole basement. Don't bother to look at it. It's not a beautiful background like usual. Uh, it's just me doing my readings. Um, the other thing is cross watchers. Welcome, 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 welcome. If you don't know what cross watching is, uh, please leave a message below in the comments and we will gladly help you out. This is a very loving, wonderful community. Um, everyone's very, very helpful and positive. We like it. Well, we like to keep it poly positive. So, um, the other thing is know that even though I'm saying Gemini, it may be coming in in your energy and this may be what Gemini is doing to you. So please know that and um, know that it can come in in your, your viewpoint on what Gemini is doing to you. Um, with that being said, I am going to get started because I hate talking about me. Um, my information is in the box below. I just opened up my schedule again um, after having pneumonia. I still have pneumonia, so I'm not going to wait on the pneumonia to leave. I'm going to do what I want to do and the pneumonia can come and go as it pleases. Um, so here is your weekly for September 2nd through September 9th of January, January, really? I just said September, yeah. I wonder which one of you has something going on in January or had something significant in January. September 2nd through 9th, 2019. Let's try that again. Yeah. Okay, Kelly, now that you've got it, um, the lighting is super weird. We're having a storm coming in. It, everything just looks fluorescent and I'm finding glowing all over the place. I'm trying to get it to normalize itself when I do that, but then it just goes right back to being glowy and weird. So anyway, um, Gemini, what I'm feeling for you guys this month is a real ace of swords energy. It's a real sharp truth for you. Um, and I feel like it has a lot to do with self-love. I feel like it has a lot to do with having to focus on yourself right now. And it's a forced focus. It's not something that you chose. It's something that um, I feel like the universe kind of forced on you based on, I always tell people, don't get ass over tea kettled by the universe. Ass over tea kettled means that you did not listen to the universe. And now the universe is going to take everything you own and make you listen. So I always tell people, take the cues from the universe and make the changes. But I feel like you guys... Um, you didn't do that. And, um, unfortunately you are paying the consequences. Um, what they're telling me is like, you're having to admit a large truth to yourself. You, you were seeing it as an injustice to you, but the problem there was that there was a very large truth right in front of you that you did not want to see or did not see. Um, I feel more you didn't want to see it because of the forced hermit mode that they've kind of put you in and they're changing your whole life around on you. Um, it feels like, you know, you in the emperor position taking power in the wrong way. And I don't mean to pick on you guys. I'm not saying like, oh, you know, you guys are horrible and you take the power in the wrong way. No, you, you know I love you guys. Um, it's more like taking and using the power in the wrong way that um, it feels like you had feelings for somebody and unfortunately that person didn't have feelings for you, but you were still trying to establish dominance. Um, they may or may not be a, in a relationship with someone else, but it feels like you were still trying to, you both may be in a relationship with someone else. It feels like this is kind of a couple party going on here. Um, you're trying to establish dominance in a situation that doesn't belong to you. Um, I feel like this other person is a significant part of your life, but at the same time, you're trying to dominate them because you've got emotions and feelings that they don't know about, but they don't share those emotions and feelings. Now, like I said, it could be the other way around where it's, you know, Gemini doesn't feel those emotions and feelings. So keep that in mind that though I say Gemini, it can be vice versa. Um, it's like you have feelings for someone and the major truth 
in your life that's come in is that they're forcing you to self-love because you've known this person doesn't have feelings for you. Nothing's ever manifested there. And though it's been right in front of you, it's like you still want to take dominance over that person in their situation. You still want to have say. Um, you still want to um, insert yourself in their life and in their situations and their possible relationship. And I feel as though like it's causing a problem between you and your significant other because they don't quite understand what's going on there. They're not understanding because you're saying one thing. I don't have feelings for this person. They're just like a family member or something like weird like that. But they're, they're saying that your significant other feels that you're saying one thing but acting another. Saying one thing and doing something else. I hope that makes sense to some of you. Um, with others of you, I feel as though it was just that two-party situation and you may have had feelings for somebody who didn't mm -hmm. share the right or same feelings for you. Um, and even after they'd shown you their hand, you still tried to work things out with them. But unfortunately, um, this person just didn't have the right feelings for you. Um, and it's, it's almost like either you walked away or they walked away. Um, yeah, one of you definitely walked away from this situation. No doubt in my mind. Oops. Sorry guys. No doubt in my mind. One of you walked away in this situation and it came to an abrupt halt. Um, and for those of you who are trying to dominate someone else's situation because you have feelings for them, you've got to recognize and come into balance with the fact that they do not have feelings for you. So inserting your dominance over their significant other, or um, I don't want to say it like that because you guys, I don't want you to feel like I'm picking on you. It's just the way they're putting it to me. Inserting yourself into that relationship or... Placing yourself, that's, this is really the only other way I can say it. I mean, they're just being brutally honest. And I'm brutally honest, but I don't want you to think I'm picking on you because I'm not. Um, they're saying you need to rebalance yourself and you need to get out of this mind frame that you belong in that situation with them. Um, they don't have those feelings for you. And the more you try to insert yourself over their significant other, the more they're going to push away and not want to come around until you balance this out and you figure out that you need to be inserting yourself in your own relationship. This is going to continue to be a problem. You could lose your significant other over this. Your significant other is seeing, even though that you're saying you don't have feelings for that person, you're still behaving in the manner that you do. Sorry, but I'm living off of halls right now. Cough syrup does nothing. Hospitalization does nothing. Antibiotics does nothing. Cough drops, nah, they don't do shit either, but what the hell, right? Gotta do something. Uh, gotta be here for you guys. Of course. Like I said, I may disappear. I'm hospitalized usually, but I always come right back. And even when I'm hospitalized, I still answer you guys. Um, and now they put you in this position where you've got no choice but to see it. This lighting, my goodness, I'm so sorry. You've got no choice but to see that you do not belong in that situation. There's a friendship line there. And the more you continue to push, the further away this friend may get. This friend is starting to realize that you do have feelings for them. Now that they, it, it feels like they've become serious elsewhere with someone else and they're starting to realize that this person is their balance they don't have those same feelings and they're starting to see weird behaviors coming out of you or you're seeing weird behaviors coming out of them that show you trying to insert yourself or insert dominance over their significant other and now the um the divine are forcing you 
to change your perspective with the hanged man. You need to change your whole mind, change your perspective. This is in the reverse position. And so it's like you're stuck. You're stuck there. And you refuse to see that inserting your dominance over this person's significant other will only push them away. Or if they're trying to do that with you, it's only going to push you away. You're not going to find any happiness there. This person, unfortunately, they just, they don't have feelings for you. And guys, you, it doesn't appear that you have the greatest intention toward this person or they have the greatest intention toward you. And when this card comes up and it's, it's in reference to um, facing a truth, facing an actualization that this person cares about you in a way that's different from what you care about them, mm -hmm. you have to realize that your intentions may not be as good as you think they are. And what are they? trying to manipulate this, this person, this friend or this person you have feelings for isn't going to end well. Um, it doesn't appear their significant other really takes it personally. Um, they don't want to take over your role in this person's life. They're not interested in that. They're interested in creating and providing their own throne. So maybe this person is um, very serious with your friend. Um, maybe they're very, um, they're planning a future. Maybe they're wanting to get married or something because I keep hearing the word throne and aisle. Um, throne would usually mean that's that person's king or queen, meaning their match, their twin flame, their other half of their soul. And you, when you mess with something that's divine like that, you're going to get some not so good consequences. I don't like the look of this. It looks like you and that person just may go head to head. And even though you might be a force to reckon with, I think this person, we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse, got the card of work, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, the Queen of Swords is pretty fierce, yes, but the Queen of Wands is pretty fierce herself. And it's showing me that this person realizes and knows that you have feelings for their person. Now, don't get caught up in the fact that this is queens and kings. These cards are androgynous, meaning they don't have a sex. It's an energy that I see. It's an energy that I feel. And I feel as though one of these is working against the other. So it could be Gemini working against this queen, or it could be this queen working against Gemini. But then we come up with the Queen of Cups in reverse as well. So somebody here does not have good emotional intentions toward this other individual. So the, this being you, if you are trying to insert dominance and use that emperor's power in the wrong way, uh, you might cross the wrong person. This is something divine I'm feeling that... Um, this person doesn't have feelings for you because this is their person. This is their king of wands. This is their match. And this is not something you really want to mess with. That's divine karma. Um, and if this is them doing it to you, then they don't have the best of emotional intentions either. There's a lot of emotional trickery, emotional fuckery going on there. And... You need to be really careful on how you handle the situation because you just may push this other person away from you by trying to play games and work against their significant other. You just might push this person away from you by doing that. Um, this is a really weird read for me, guys. It's kind of odd.
yeah, this person has really changed um, in a good way. They're no longer, um, looks like they've changed their life in a really, really positive way. And you've been a big part of that, or they've been a big part of that for you. However, that part only goes so far. You can only play so much of a role with somebody who doesn't see you in the same loving light that you see them. Like, they see you like a brother or a father, where you're noticing that you've got feelings for them all of a sudden. And they're not feeling that. Now, as I said just two seconds ago, this is this person's match. The Queen of Rods. She's not somebody you want to cross. I know you guys are fierce, but this is not somebody you want to mess with. Her King of Rods is right there. They're a match, guys. This is a twin flame. Uh, this is karmic. This is heavy duty. And this person is not interested. Notice he has his back to the situation of working against that. He or she has their back to the situation of, of you working against their significant other. They're not going to go for that. They're not going to go for that, guys. Um, or you're not going to go for it, one or the other. This is your person. And they're busy working on facing positive things. You should be proud of them. They're changing their life, or we should be proud of you. You're changing your life radically. You're becoming the best person you can be. You're becoming amazing, and that's great. Um, they should be proud of you, not trying to insert dominance into your relationship. You're generally extremely happy that you found your significant other. And that's the way it should be. This person, if they're a true friend, should back off and give you the space to live your life. Not try to play the dominance game with your significant other. Um, right now, this person wants to get their, their pentacles in order want to make sure that it stays in working order inside of the um, infinity sign. He knows that the ship is there and that it's coming in and that whatever's on that ship belongs to him. And he's looking at it. You can see he's looking into the distance. He's looking right at the ship. He's not looking at this guy. He's looking at the ship because he knows yeah and there's little birds in the background. There's a need to want to be free of all of the uncertainty that this person's had in their life. They don't want to be judged anymore for who they were. They want to be seen for who they are now. And they're working hard to be free of that and to gain what is on that ship that belongs to them. And they're working hard with their significant other and their significant other unfortunately is their match king of rods queen of rods um oh your card is here too gemini so yeah it's i mean you're on you're on the down spiral but you're learning that um Everything doesn't have to be catastrophic. And even though it may be catastrophic, it's a perfect time to change everything and become the best you can be. And that's amazing. Not a lot of people can do that. You should be proud of yourselves, patting yourselves on the back. Not a lot of people, not a lot of signs can take this and turn it into this. If you can even see the damn thing. So you're working on taking this. You've got to face the truth. There's that, that sort of truth again. This person has made their choice. And that choice is not you. Or your choice is not them. 
and they've got to face that. But either way, you're taking this end of the cycle and you're turning this into something amazing. You're turning it into something really, really good. And I couldn't be prouder for you guys to come back and see that. I couldn't be happier to move past something that's old and kind of cobwebby and needed to be taken care of. And you just never really got around to it. And, um, <clears throat> and now you're moving forward. You're taking action. You're doing things to actively change your life. You're working on you. You're working on your overindulgences. You're working on the fact that this wish card didn't come to fruition. And you're being okay with that. This wasn't your person. It's okay to have the feelings you have, but it wasn't your person. And it's time for you to let this go. Your wish to be with that person isn't going to happen. Or their wish to be with you. And so it's time to let this go. You have so many positive things you could be doing. Okay, Gemini. I was kind of, that was just really weird. I don't know where that came from. Um, that was a very odd read for me. Um, but that's what I have for you for the second through the ninth um, is moving past and learning self love. Um, self love is so important, and I'm so glad that you guys are in that mode. Take really good care of yourselves. You know, learn to love yourself again. Date yourself. Um, take bubble baths. Go read a book. If you're a guy and you love going to the gym, do that. If you love racing cars, go race a car. Whatever it is you do that you love to do, go and do it. This is your girl Kelly for the Queen Tarot Beat in Boston. I'll catch you on the flip.